What is good everybody, Agamotts here today with another video talking about the mechanics of D-Sage. I might do more of these videos because I'm actually pretty interested in how um, the mechanics of D-Sage actually worked uh, before when I first started playing the class versus now. Um, so let's just jump straight into the video. Uh, first we're just going to cover the basics. Everybody knows the monk stuff, uh, like you know, Fire Fist M M1s at the end. In M2, somebody when they're ragdolled if you have the Fire Fist. Um, you know, it obviously gets somebody with mana charged, you know, it cancels their mana for 5 seconds. Now we're going to get into the basics of Lightning Elbow. So one thing you need to know about Lightning Elbow is that whenever you use it, um, it equips whatever button you have Lightning Elbow on. Very important to know because if you try and like, because some people they think that Lightning Elbow is still equipped whenever they use it and they try and like click one and it doesn't work and that's why they miss um just know that it automatically de equips so it should make you just a tad bit faster knowing that um lightning drop oh actually another thing about lightning elbow is that you know if you w top you should be able to move but just a little bit so it could help you know trying to catch up to that guy now onto lightning drop so everybody knows lightning drop can't do. easy way to bypass is to do the same thing i just did with lightning elbow double tap uh lightning up i mean double tap when you're using the move and so I don't think I can necessarily like show it unless I show my hands. Um, but you want to like, as you can see, double tap and I'm able to move. So yeah, I just said it as soon as I started using the move. Um, another thing that you want to try and do, or another thing to learn actually for a lightning drop is that if you're actually a decent bit high, you actually don't need to do that. Like look, as you can see, I'm moving right away and I can actually attack during that. As you just saw, I was able to lightning dash, and I was able to uh, attack. I didn't attack purposely, but you see here, I'm not able to dash or attack at all. I can only do it after the little lightning drop sound ends. So very important to note that. And so effectively, what you'll want to do is you can combine all these methods together. So um, let's just say I start off with a gang. By the way, this is just my non-tomeless cover first, because I think it's important to cover it. So you're going for a lightning elbow. Oh, I mean, a lightning, lightning two, lightning elbow, blah, blah, blah. Just, just do what I did right there, you know? It's simple enough. Um, so yeah, you just want to go in with a long lightning drop. Bam! You're able to move. M2, lightning elbow after that. Another M2. And then, if you have Tomas, you're going to start to apply this snap bigness. Um, very useful. I think it's the best snap and best spell for D-Sage to continue the juggle. Basically, if you don't know, which I'm pretty sure you do, but... D Sage uh, has like a juggle mechanic, and that's how you get a lot of your damage off. So you want to keep them on the ground as long as you can, while they can't block anything, and you're just going to keep adding big stacks of damage on. Um, so one thing you can do, as you can see, if they, let's say like your lightning elbows on cooldown and your lightning drops on cooldown, Ignis, M2, and then like snap Ignis, M2, and then like your lightning elbows should be back. I, I got missed, oops. But yeah, that's one thing you can do to ensure that you know you can keep them on the ground. Another quick trick for uh, Tomeless D Sages is that let me get them off real quick. Another thing you can actually do is that um you can use Talorum and do and then do Lightning Elbow. So since I'm a guy in D Sage, it might not work for other classes, but assuming that you want to be this build. Look at this. Not only does it hit them with uh, Talorum, but it also hits them with, um, it also hits them with, as you can see, the uh, Lightning Elbow. And it sets up for a great combo because a lot of the times, um, if you're fighting another D Sage, right, you're not going to be able to Lightning Elbow them, Lightning Drop them, or Snap Ignis them. They're just going to be doing this. Right? You're like, how do I break this? This breaks that. Their guard is broken, and you hit the Lightning Elbow. Okay, they're not, they're, their guard's not broken, but. It gets rid of their block and it hits them with the lightning elbow and then bam, easy M1 chain or M2 chain combo right there. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Talorum is a great way to like just hit people in general. You should just enjoy yourself. So you got hit by that and the lightning elbow. And he it's a freshie, so it doesn't really mean much, but it did half of like half of his health. And freshies have 100 health, so that's probably like 50 damage in total. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Um but yeah, those are basically all the really basic mechanic things you need to know. Um, besides that, maybe a, a few tips is like, if you use Viribus, oops, if you use Viribus and Snarvender, and you have mana charge, it actually cancels their mana or pauses their mana for both. Oh, I missed. 
Um, I'm trying to charge on the freshie. Okay, well, it it I know for Starvenders for sure does that. Apparently, this is just what I hear. Uh, I can't really necessarily prove it to you, but you might want to fact fact check that. But other than that, that's pretty much it. All you need to do is just continue to juggle. You know, you can even just add a snappiness, whatever. You know, that's really all there is to this video, guys. I hope you have a great day, and um, I'll see you later. Peace.